Hello, good evening, and welcome to my monthly playing of Wildermyth, which happens on the last Monday of the month. It's hard to believe it's already the last Monday of August, but here we are, and so here I am with Wildermyth, attempting to remember where I left off last month, um, which is a thing, definitely. Uh, one thing I do know, however, is that when I was checking where my team was, I found three people who weren't doing anything at all, so I can at least start there. So, uh, these three here, it uh, looks like they just patrolled the- no, they just scouted this area, which means that now I would like them to patrol it. Yes. Go, go, go! And then tier 3 defenses are finished on Yelena's shelves here. So what do I do with you? Uh, well, this just needs to be patrolled. And those three are going to do that. So why don't we send these three up here to help with taking the foundry once this patrol is done? That seems logical. And then there was an incursion to throw a spanner into all of my plans. Thrixel, in great number, moved to attack your lands, driving peaceful folks before them, leveling homes in hallowed places. Your enemies will travel from tile to tile, attacking and destroying sites until they are defeated by heroes in combat or repelled by defenses you've built. Their numbers will wear down. Once incursion side reaches zero, the enemy will dissipate and the incursion will be over. Okay, so the Thrixel are starting out here. They're marching through here. And they're heading towards here. Okay. So I have some time, actually. And these three have finished patrolling there, so that's awesome. Uh, so let's send those three over here. And we'll just have them wait there for now, and we'll keep an eye on what's going on up here. Uh, although it does mean... does mean we're probably not going to take the foundry right now. We're going to deal with the incursion before we do that. Which means that these three are just going to have to turn around and start marching in the other direction, but that, that'll be fine. We have enough time. We can scout out this tile as well. And we will send these guys to join the other ones. Okay, and might as well patrol that. Go ahead. Y'all just wait right there. It's all good. Iron Hills cleared of infestation. Yeah, it's just this corner that we have left to claim.
I think it would be a good thing if I built a uh, bridge right here. But that is a problem for future me. Future me in the stream, probably, rather than current me. Okay, so, uh... Whoop, no, I... I'm trying to click the X, not the person. Alright, you three get onto that same square with everybody else. Yes? Okay. Thrixel have arrived at Utton Seal. Well, hopefully our archers will arrive before... the defenses get totally broken down. Now here's the thing. This incursion is a size six. So I don't think, I don't, do I have anything built on a seal? I don't. I, I don't think I do. So we can just let them break it and uh, knock down their numbers, and then defend Chuck Queen instead. Yeah, I like this plan. Rumbert is getting left behind. Rumbert, why? Oh, we don't, we don't want you traveling alone. Uh, let's, let's, um... Let's make sure there's a group of three traveling together, shall we? Okay, and then... Can't move everybody together anymore. Gotta move them in, in sets. Oh, Rumbert really was the only one left behind, even though I, I thought I'd cancelled. Oh well. Go, Rumbert, go! Alright, we're gonna defend the town. We'll let them have a tin seal. Because it's gonna knock them down. Enemies advance their plans over time. The Thriskel Thrusk wants ha extra health. The Gorgon Seacaller wants extra health. The Thrixel Bard wants to show up with a friend. Uh, the Drowvin Raid Knight wants extra health. Oh, this is this is all awful stuff. Uh, the Thrusks are fairly fragile, but I really don't want the Bard showing up with a friend, I think. So I'm gonna cancel out the bard bringing a, a, a wingman and uh, we'll let the rest go through I guess all right yeah gonna have to rebuild that And now they are at Chuck Queen. Let's see if they can blow another star or two off themselves before we challenge them. Okay, they're down to one star. There they are. There, that. Okay, they were down to two stars. Oh, and those places got all infested again. Oh, it's gonna be so much fun. Okay. It is time to defend. All heroes on this tile will help defend it against the pillaging Thrixel. You have plenty of heroes, so only two farmers will join the fight. That's fine. I am terrible about getting farmers killed, so I'm I'm happy about this. All right, let's go. Thrixel have come. They seem to split off the very air. How should the defenders respond? Lack of options can be a good thing. 
Alright, so Yorietta wants to charge into battle and take the fight to them with an 81% chance of success. Mythway wants to use our knowledge of the land to harry their approach with a 92% chance of success. And Briglera wants to stay hidden until the last moment and fight with cunning at a 74% chance. Now, I generally speaking, I really like the results of what Briglera wants, but because the chances of success between her and Mythway are so significant, I am going to be going with Mythway. So, use our knowledge of the land to harry their approach. Mythway attempts to harass the enemy ranks, but winds up running for her life. She's unable to rejoin the battle for a lengthy spell. <gasps> Oh my goodness, an only 8% chance of failure and it happened. Oh no. Dang, and it's it's one of my mystics too. All right, Mythway is stunned for however knows how long. All right, let's see. We have a Kinestend. Busy hands are blurs beneath its brooding bulk. Seen close, the globes it palms round are full of lucent dreams. We have a triple seeker with extra health and the ability to give mind worm with attacks. A scorier with extra armor and the ability to give mind worm. A muse with extra health. Uncanny quiet accompanies cryptic gestures, beckoning it appears always on the verge of breathing and doesn't. A nightmare with extra armor and extra damage and the ability to give mind worm because, you know, why take only one thing when you can have three, apparently? And a Drathix with extra health, extra damage, and the ability to give mind worm. Great! Okay, our people. Is everybody gathered right there or are no we're we're all gathered in the one spot this is a really tiny map this is awful uh... okay well the scorier is going to be the biggest problem if we remain clustered Uh, we're going to need to leave at least one person back here with Mythway so that she gets the extra armor while she's stunned. Uh, alright, Fox, I want you to move... You know what? Take this farmer with you. Can he hit the scorier? He he can shoot at the scorier. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Um, the question is where to send my volley of arrows? Over here to the Nightmare and the Kinestend, into the Seekers, or into the Scorier. I think actually it would be best to put it up here. Archers! Okay, and that has split the Nightmare. That'll make things a little simpler. Not easier, but simpler. Okay, Rumbert. Uh, yeah, Rumbert, I want you and Kem to basically hold this door. The 
forest end and the nightmares would have to break down this rubble before they can come through this way. So I think I can I can leave this edge alone for now. Uh, can I send Ina? I can. All right, we'll send Ina up here. We'll send Brig. That's a fire spot, right? I think it is. Yes, it is. Can she hit the scory? Ooh. Darn it. Okay, uh, Dwayneen, is it better to have you shoot the scorier now or set an, an, up an ambush for its approach vector? Or set up an ambush for this approach vector? Hmm. I think wait can can Yorietta ambush yes she can okay Yorietta will ambush in that direction actually Yor Yorietta will complete the cube set up an ambush this away for the seekers I mean, we'll set up an ambush here. Mythias. Actually, Boyo, we're going to have you stand right here so that you can enjoy the celestial buff. And I would love to have you grab a plant, but I don't see a good one to grab. This looks like fun, though. I'm not sure if it can reach, though. Let's find out. If I grab these logs, can I splinter blast? No. No, I, I, can't, I can't quite reach everybody. Okay, so it's good to have those logs, but using them right away is probably not the best plan. So what if I were to grab... Yeah, grab that fern. Ina, I would like you to guardian. Kem, you guardian. Fox, guardian. Uh, you, you, sir, just wait. I forgot you were there, actually. And Rumbert, guardian. Okay, Drathix is on that edge, Muse is on that edge. Nice, nice, excellent. Good. Oh. Not where I expected it to go. Oh man, Mythway. 
Oh, you poor suffering being. Okay, well, um... That's Ina. Uh, you, sir, if I move you over next to her, do you, can you, like, do the... Oh, I don't want to move you next to her now that I think about it. Uh, <laughs> mm. Well, I guess Mythias is going to have to do it then. Oh. Oh, he can't... He oh. Oh. You have to remove your own mind worms. Somebody else can't do it for you. Oh, no. Oh, Mythway, I'm so sorry. Okay, Ein. Uh, you can't attack the Scorier. Okay, uh... Aina? Aina. Can't... Oh, can't move into position. Oh, no. Uh... Fox. Fox is the only one who can attack, but that's okay because she's got that thing that she goes into Guardian, I think, if I'm remembering correctly. Get that Storier out from the middle of us. Yes, perfect, okay. Okay, Brig. Can you hit anything without moving? It appears the answer is no. Okay, she that's that's no good. Um If I can get her within four tiles of this spot. Dangerous. Okay, let's see if this works. Yes! More fire for that Drathex. Yes. Okay. Can I send you anywhere that you can hit anything? Yes, yes I can. Yeah, up in there. I, I want to go for the Muse, but the Kinestand really has to go before it can put too many more chrysalids down, so... Okay, Yorietta. Can you moss that far? No, you can't. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Mythias. If we splinter blast, we can hit all of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. 
one nightmare. One of the chrysalids down. Kinistan only has three points left. All right, Yorietta, I believe in you. You can do it. All right. Okay, Rumbert, I want you to move up. I want Kem to move up. Guardian, uh, actually you come in here and act as a bridge for everybody. Yes, excellent, you wait. You Guardian. You Guardian. Oh Lord. Oh, its last move was to poison everybody. Oh no. And another nightmare has showed up somewhere. Uh, Quinstock. Quinstock. Uh, try to remove the dominated. No. Try again. Okay, not dominated anymore. Mindworm. Are you mindwormed? Who's mindwormed? Is, is he mindworm? Oh, he is. Okay. Remove mindworm. That's all of his moves. Okay, Mythway. Mythway, are you with us again? Thank you. Remove that mindworm. Oh, thank goodness you didn't get poisoned. Man, I wish, I wish she could grab, I, I wish she could grab that fire, but she can't. Um, let's see, barrage. Uh, lantern, I can maybe steal fire. And more tools. Um, or could Wild Grass the Muse? Hmm. Okay, yeah, the, the Muse is more dangerous, I think. So let's try this. Oh, we can volley again? Let's volley again. Archers! Okay. And the Muse is more hurt. Cool, 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 cool. Aina. Um, hmm. I... How do I get you anywhere useful? Brig, you should stay right there. Or, actually, if you move one step forward, you can shoot at that nightmare. 
Take chances. Take the shot. Cool. Very cool. Oh, whole nightmare down. Okay. Okay, so now we just need to get the muse. And the chrysalis. But the muse is, is more important. Uh, Mythias, what, what is going on with you besides being poisoned? You are also mind-wormed. Okay, remove that mind-worm. Uh, you know what? We're, we're gonna... Yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it beautifully. Okay. Do it. Something's still alive in here. Why is combat not over? Oh no. Okay, uh. Rumbert, forward. Kim, you stay there. Ina, can you can you get over there? No, you can't. Okay, Ina, you get in here. Fox. Yeah, take this spot. Uh I'm on Yorietta now. Okay, take out the mind worm. And you ambush this way. Do I mean move up into here and you ambush this way? I'm scooch up in here and wait. Rumber, you guardian. Kim, you guardian. Another muse just showed up. Where is it? Not there. Down there, of course. Okay. Of course. Why why would it be why would it be anywhere where I expect it to be? Brig. Brig, can you can you set it on fire? Cool, cool, cool. And then another muse showed up, but it was me. Now I have two muses. <laughs> one of them is one that I'm not going to try and set on fire, though. Hi, muse. Welcome back to the stream. Oh, lordy, lordy. Oh, there will only be one by the time I'm done with it, but first I need to... Uh, where... Mythias, I want you to grab something good. Ooh, that looks excellent. Yes, take that and blow, blow it up. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, Mythway, grab. Oh man, what what is left that's in range? Uh, four, no, that only has four range. Uh, can it reach is the question. Well, let's find out. It cannot, it is one square, <laughs> it was one square short. 
Okay, uh... Blast, everything's so far away. Well, let's just grab this fern, then. I don't think I can actually... No, I can't reach with the fern, either. Arches. Create a tree on a tile without adjacent scenery and interfuse with it, pinning any s Ooh. Oh no, that's a that's an adjacent tile. Okay, that's that's not that's not useful at the moment. Darn it. Uh Ain! Take the shot. Cool. Um, we, we've got more archers. We've got more archers. Twineen, can you... You can't reach from there, but... But you can shoot from there. Okay. Go, Dwineen, go! Yes! Ooh, two shings! Okay, so Briglera has leveled up. Let's see, she can have aid. Once per combat, Briglera grants an adjacent target seven temporary health and removes negative status effects. Repost, Briglera will counterattack after a successful melee block or dodge. Uh, useless for the way that I use my hunters, but thank you. Ambush. Briglera draws back using a ranged attack on the first enemy who enters the threatened tiles, dealing an extra plus two damage. If the shot is not sprung, Briglera gets a free attack at the beginning of her next turn. Or an upgrade to Flame Soul Plus. Two base... No, plus two base damage for Cone of Fire, plus one base damage for Flame Strike, and scales twice as much with bonus damage and potency. <gasps> oh, yes. Hello. Come be my friend. Upgrade the flame soul. Mythius is now a bronze horn mystic, and he's very happy about it. Let's see, we have wisdom. Mythius gets a bonus to all campaign level tasks based on age. 100% of base job speed for every 35 years of age. Humanist, advanced interfusions so that... Uh, if he interfuses with mechanisms, it applies poison to enemies who step next to it. Metal upgrades to shackles. Tools upgrade to stunning barrage. And shards activate... Uh, you can make a shark shard nado. <laughs> uh, upgrade to spirit blade. Allies directly adjacent to an interfused object get plus 10 stunt chance. Blazing Sword, Burning Arrow, changed from turning the actions to single actions. Or an upgrade to Howl. Once per combat as a swift action, grant plus two speed to all heroes for three turns. I forget to use his Howl entirely, so I'm gonna discard that one as an idea. So, it's either the Humanist or the Upgrade to Spirit Blade, I think. Because I don't really have all that many campaign uh, level tasks left. I'm in the last chapter, so that would be a bit of a waste. But yeah, Humanist or Spirit Blade? That is the question. Hmm. Uh... You know what? I'm gonna upgrade Spirit Blade. I'm gonna make it better. And the Seeker is developing extra armor, which is probably needs because I keep killing it in one shots. Uh, which I'm not complaining about, but maybe now I won't. Who knows? We'll all find out together. Alright. Well, now there are repairs to be done. All right, we're going to be repairing a Dinseal. Uh, you three are not going to be participating in that. Uh, we'll send Kemloth. Uh, let's send Mythias. And sure, why, 
No, not not Dwayneen. We we have uses for our three archers, so we're not using them for this particular. Uh well let's let's send Aina. Mythius, Aina, and Kemloth are going to go and repair that site. Over here, we're going to have a patrol by our three archers. And those who are left are going to be repairing the defenses on the town. Okay, site repaired. Upton Seal is being made habitable once again. Beginning to question the investment. It's a good investment! And defenses. Yep. Upton Seal needs defenses. Tier 3, the three of you. Iron Hills is no longer infested. Thank you. Three of you go patrol over there. Tier 3 defense is finished there. Excellent. Okay. Uh... Mm. Yeah, okay. Three of you go to the foundry, please. Okay, now here's the thing. Okay, they are getting plus one from the infested fi pi what the infested tile next door. So what we'll do is you three will patrol there. Okay, so the Morthagi coachman wants extra health. The Gorgon Geist wants extra damage. The Thrixel Bard still wants to bring a friend. And the Drowvin Haunt wants extra health. Uh, I did not get enough legacy points off of that defense. I still, I don't want the Bard to be bringing a friend, so we're going to continue to cancel that. No plus one for the bard. Okay, you three finished that. I want you to gather at the tannery. Why? Okay, fine, whatever. to assault the foundry. And everybody who is not uh, participating in that, I would like to gather all 
on the other tile. to carve a pass. Yeah, the, the four of you can absolutely work on that while I am assaulting this point. Yeah, that, that sounds good. You you all y'all have fun now, you hear? Tell me a story. Did you see that huge moth that landed in Dwayne's hair earlier today? How could I not? And you weren't going to say anything? Oh, that that's a look. She walked around with that thing sticking out at a jaunty angle for like an hour. <laughs> hey, tell me a story. Eh? You're the gal with the stories, right? Um... Well, what would you like to hear? Tell me the one about the trickster moon? How about the fire king and the raindrop? Or nothing too fantastic, just tell me something that happened to you. Ooh. It's definitely one of the first two. The, the last one I feel like is kind of a null. Mm. You know what, let's go for the fire king and the raindrop. I made a good choice, apparently. Aina described a bitter sorcerer who ruled his realm with a fiery hand. One day, a raindrop fell onto his plate and told him of the suffering his acts had caused. Go on, little teardrop, he laughed, and puffed a warm wind to dry it right up. But another raindrop fell, on his table this time. This one he shriveled with a flick of his fingernail. But still more fell. The sorcerer began shooting shout gouts of flame and screaming, the, and screaming the heat from the earth, but it wasn't enough. The rain fell with one voice, rising, rising, and eventually the flame king and all his ashery were washed away in a great torrent. A torrent of teamwork. Which was the real treasure all along. Oh, come on! You asked for a story, you got a story, alright? <laughs> Aina gained temporary potency plus one potency and Fox gained temporary warding plus one warding cool yay and the gorgons are out all right there's a quadruple row out here with 25 with extra health extra armor and extra damage a double rager with extra armor and extra damage. A double raccoon with extra armor. Tail spike does splash damage to all adjacent foes. Great. A stagger on. At the raising of those mighty arms, its clamoring kin run before it. A gorgon sea collar with extra health, extra armor, and extra damage. A bar toss. Smoke leaks off its pelt as it charges, banging the ground with its weird stone staff. And a geist. Its shuffling shoulders scrape it like stones. Gory stench rises off its matted fur, and it does extra damage. Of course it does, because I didn't stop that. I could have stopped that, but I didn't. And they're all indoors. All of them are inside that relatively tiny little space there. That's... that's fun. Okay, Aina... Up to the door. Fox, up to the door. Dwayneen. Yorietta, Mythius, you're gonna wait for a moment. Ina, open that door. Ra 
Ragers! Fun! Uh, yeah, hang out here. Grab. Hmm, tentacles. Sure, let's grab the tentacles. I may not actually have to attack them with the with the anything at the moment though. We're that's uh Okay, I'm not going to be able to completely take them out. That's that's a pity. All right, Yorietta, can you Yeah, moss them good. Perfect. 91, 91. Does it matter which one? No, it does not. Uh, I can grab. I can attack with the tentacles, or I can grab another item. Let's let's gr let's grab another item. I want this lantern. Okay, Ina, guard. Fox, guard. Perfect. Now the main problem is that the door is blocked by nastiness. Uh, maybe should have thought this through a little more. Like, Ina can jump over it. But I don't think anybody else can. Ina can zeal zealously leap to the other side of it. Fox does not have Zealous Leap. Uh, Yorietta and Dwynine can jump it if I'm creative. It will disappear in a turn, the the corruption. So, I I just I I don't want to sacrifice armor at this very early stage of the fight. So, uh, Ina will zealously leap. And take up position at this door. Let's see, how far does Silk Step go? Okay, Yorietta, you silk step over to here. Uh, Fox, you move over here. Do I need to come up here and silk step here? Mythias will move up next to Fox. Yeah. And patience is a virtue. Okay, wait. You you wait. You guardian at the door. 
You might as well guardian there. Oh great, extra rows. And this uh, the steaming pile is still there. Uh Okay. All right. Oh, yes, girl. Poison them all. Okay, I, I see what I'm gonna have to do, and it's gonna suck, but... Alright, Ina? Ina. You, you need to take a step forward. Yes, I know. Okay, then Fox, you get up in here. Yes, I know. This makes the most sense. Okay, do I need you get over here? And you only have one target you can see, so you're going to hit it. Ooh, that was, that was very good. Okay, here goes a point of his magic armor, too. Oh, stepped in it with both feet. Uh, okay, this, this lamp is not useful to me anymore. go of the lantern. We're going to grab this cabinet for later. Okay, Ina? It's getting crowded in there. All right, Yorietta. Oh, it is really a pity you can't reach that geist. But you can do this without hitting Ina, right? Yes? Yes. Beautiful. And this sea collar continues to take all the space, so it's gotta go. Uh, do I mean... Dineen can only see one target that isn't poisoned, huh? Okay, then. Okay, and Mythias. Yeah, that looks good. Um. Hmm. 
see, I don't, I don't want to move Aina out of the doorway because here she can only get attacked from the front. Uh, as soon as I move her out of the doorway, she can be attacked on three sides. So... Hmm... The net throw would pin the target. I would love to pin that stagger on so it can't get closer. Let's try it. Darn it. Alright. You did your best, girl. Okay, Rose. That's the staggering down. Miss Dwineen taking some immediate vengeance. Go Dwineen. Okay, it was only a double raccoon, right? Nice. Very nice. Amazingly nice. Aina, please hit that row. I don't know what we're gonna do about the bar tooth. Um, I'm hoping it'll come through the door so that we don't have to wade through all of this goo, but um, uh, Mythias, what can you? Oh, there's there's nothing for you to grab, is there? Oh. And then I can grab one of them? He can see to put it, to, to cast it, but he can't see to, to grab the one that's right in front of Aina now. How does that make any sense at all? Alright, scooch over here. The Geist, as far as I know, the Geist does not have any ranged attacks, so it is going to have to come in. So... Yorietta... Ambush... Dwineen... You also ambush... Uh, Fox Guardian... This thing is, is too smart for my own good. Um, Mythias. Grab that plant. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, man. Mythias, I'm sorry. Okay. Hmm. 
Aina's going over here. Fox is going here. Nurieta's going to go here. Um, Dwayneen has nowhere to go but here. You know what, just in case. Might as well go there, I guess. Yep, 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 I, I see that now. Ina cannot get into attack position, but she can move to a place where she is defensive with Fox. So up you go. Go Fox, go! <laughs> Okay, Orietta. Oh! Okay then. We did it! And we got some snake stone knee pads with five dodge. Angular knee guards designed to redirect an opponent's strikes. Okay, let's see. Uh, it doesn't matter that people are retiring at the end of this chapter because it's the last chapter. Uh, the question is who does not have knee pads who can make the most use of this dodge. Uh, let's see. Fox would go to 58. Yorietta would go to 78. Dwayneen would go to 67. Rumbert would go to 55, and Kemloth would go to 59. I feel like I should give it to Dwayneen or Yorietta. Uh, they're the people of mine that are in the most danger. So Dwayneen would go to 67, Yorietta would go to 78, so let's give it to Dwayneen because uh, she has the lower dodge. So here you go. Oh, they go perfectly with your duck. Okay. I figured out what it's like. Satisfaction? What what's like? Killing Gorgons. Unpleasant, messy, but weirdly satisfying. It's exactly like popping a zit. Uh, thanks. And we're popping the zits of the very land itself. The biggest zits of them all. Ina is not impressed, and neither am I. Yes, walk away. Walk away. Keep walking. Go, go, go. Come on, it's a metaphor. You like metaphors. Not that one. I thought you'd be proud! Oh lordy. Okay, so the Bogmore is getting extra damage. Just what I needed. The miracle is nobody actually got hurt in that combat. We shredded armor, but nobody actually got hurt. It's a minor miracle.
Okay. We are going to... Hmm. We're going to assault the tannery, yes. And even though it's very dangerous, we are going to use the same team for it again. Mainly because that means that the past building group doesn't have to interrupt themselves. Library of Light. Aino is running out of good books to read. Oh. Okay, we're, we're going to have to adjust. We're going to have to adjust. There's an opportunity for Aina. Shelves are all familiar to Aina Hughes, wherever she has time to find them. Books are old friends. They know her touch and the timbre of her sights. Timber? 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 Blah, 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 blah. Of her size, the clump of her pacing, ply of her fingers. Digging up this library walled away inside a ruin, there was no question where she should, would spend the fall. Unfortunately, she's fallen into a rut of reading she can't climb out of. More of the same. There's those piercing green eyes again. And of course, her coy smile. Always her auburn hair, her piercing green eyes. Hey, Ana, you'll want to see this. Another grizzled veteran showed up? Seriously? For once, can we have a veteran that's not grizzled? Mythias has no idea. Oh, Mythias, I was reading. You didn't mutter a curse when you lost our card game, but look how mad a book gets you. It all just sounds the same. How can I keep reading the same words over and over again and not go crazy? In every shelves, the offending novel. Maybe stop reading? Well, what do you suggest? I stop reading? Uh... Mm. Anyway, I was nosing around in here the other day, and look what I found. And he just hucks it at her. Saving the little book from a damaging fall, she glares at Mythias and then opens to the marked page. Huh? This is just a... A map. To the Library of Light? It's fake. It must be. Even I know it's just a story. Think about it. It's been among these sealed shelves. Who walled it in here? What did they know? Well, I guess we shouldn't rule it out. I'll get my gear. Or, I don't know. Uh, well, let me finish the Swords of War first. And of course, the sequels. How many are there? Like, 16? <laughs> Mythias gets very upset at that one. All right, we're going. Um. Yeah, this looks like a terrible idea. Let's let's go with that. Okay, so I will not be attacking the tannery. Uh, instead, we're going to secure the foundry with a thorough investigation. Yeah, that looks good. Of course, the tannery just got all infested again. Old pen shop Zanuck, a wise man who lived in Skybarrow, told me this. Every worthy legend has a hundred good variations. According to most tellings, the Library of Light was mortared together with magic, built from bricks cut off the moon. Uh, what? Most say the Emberwold sorcerer Rankin Larkin brought the library into being. Some storytellers have it that a great many mystics helped him, and he promptly chained them all to a volcano afterwards and sent them into space. And that is now the comet em Amest Amestitis? Amestitis. What an asshole thing to do! 
In some stories, he ends up shouldering an eternal debt to some lostling or nether beast. That comes with awful interest, I'm sure. There's the one where he visits the spirit realm. I don't remember why. I don't think anything happens. Maybe he just wanted to visit. There's many versions of Rankin, but I prefer the stories that paint him human. The stories have always been like starlight, scattered and small and uncertain, but bound with this magnetic gram that draws the fragments together, becomes this single childish hope, this enduring, embarrassing sense of what if. Can you imagine it? A limitless and ever-growing trove of books? Every volume that's been written? Every scroll? Every epic? Uh... <laughs> They'll arrive the next day. How should they spend the night? Fire and conversation? Or pensive stargazing? 100% fire and conversation. Ooh, it's animated. Nice. The fire is high and their friendship deepens. The night gives them courage. But the next morning they'll reach their goal. Well, it, it looks like a really fancy library. And find it guarded. Courage! All heroes plus two damage and potency for three turns. Oh, this is going to be one of the ones where I can't get into position and waste the whole thing, huh? Hill Guardian. A ponderous bulk that moves with an unexpected delicacy. Oh, that... it's a smaller map than I expected. Oh boy. Okay. I I see the best thing to do. Yes. Okay. Ana, you move up here. Brig, you move in here. Mythius, you come here. And you grab this tree. Excuse me, grab the tree. The tree, Mythias. Okay. Aina, you are going to attempt to pin the Hill Guardian. <gasps> Spectacular. Rig? I'm so sorry, Guardian. Uh, Brig, shoot it. Okay. Oh, that was... Oh, and I found a set of ghost traff, which is, uh... Well, it's, it's uh, armor for hunters, but all my hunters are already wearing tier 2 armor. So I'm just going to salvage it for the hide, I guess. And a brooch of illumination for a plus 6 to stunt chance. A subtle signal of refinement and style. Ooh, we don't have very many brooches. You know, I think I kind of want to give it to Kemloth, because when Kemloth stunts, it's pretty spectacular. Adlib, hello! Hi! Are, are you pissing at me for secrets? Are there secrets? Alright, we're gonna give it to Kim. Hi! Welcome back to the stream! Library of Light. Well, what do you call that? A golem? I feel like that's a good sign. Whisper, whisper, secret, secret. <laughs> ah, exactly, yes. Is that a good sign? Of course. How would anyone make a golem without books? 
Oh! Golem books. How's my day going? It hasn't been too bad. Uh, there was a little snafu over dinner, but it only delayed the start of stream by about 15 minutes, so that wasn't too bad. So it's been a remarkably good day, actually. And so far, we've been, I've been pretty successful in Rolder Myth as well, so, you know, I, I'm hoping that the, uh, that the uh, RNG gods did not uh, punish me for saying, you know, how well things have been going, but... Rankin Larkin rather famously recorded that there were two ways a traveler would be able to locate his library. Praying to RNG Jesus for you. Oh, thank you, Madlib. Although I have to admit, I caught enough of your stream earlier today that RN Jesus might not be listening to you. <laughs> Madlib had a little villager hunt bingo in in uh, in her stream earlier today, and uh, it uh, it was. Um, it wasn't as successful as hoped. How long were I lo was I looking for? Uh, well, you see, when I woke up today, there was a notice on my tablet that my friend Madlib was streaming. So I kind of clicked on that. And so basically I was watching you ever since I got up. But I'm not a very personal person before I've had my coffee, so... <laughs> Lurking lurk. Yes, I'm a lurking lurker what lurks. There's his saying, ever a north pointing compass tells you its own truth. Ever a stranger tells you hers and an enemy someone else's. But ever a good friend lies. Right, good. So the standard gibberish. What's the second way? Just how big it is. <laughs> The interior of the library is a symphony of sunlight playing for a frozen ballet of crammed shelves. Look at the carvings on the wood. Every space is crowded with volumes. Size doesn't matter. <laughs> I mean, when it's a library, depending on, you know, how much of that size is packed with shelves, like a library with a lot of elbow room and space, so it's really huge, is not as good as a library that is cram-packed full of books and thus it's huge. So it's one of those things. How do you begin to pay for all of it? This is what dreams look like. Could you have even dreamed this? <laughs> They actually found it! They found the library that they were looking for! The library was a dream. That's how it began. Why I studied magic all my life? Same as every magician. I wanted to make my dreams real. I didn't understand, then. When dreams come true, you may find yourself buried in them. More than ever, you begin to long for sleep. That's actually beautiful. Ah, uh, yeah. The The writing in this game is, is actually quite excellent. There's uh, several writers and they have come together to create something really nice. The library was a dream and that's what it must remain. Rankin, don't you dare. Those who leave it will never find their way back. Did Aina hear him? Many days later. Aina? We need to leave, Mythias. No, we need to leave. Oh. Um. Something I realized, I guess. I'm not sure when. A long time ago, maybe. Grand times I've spent with books. Time I was alone with a novel and a window and a rainstorm. Oh, that sounds so nice. Oh. Oh. I don't have a window I can sit in. Uh. I'm glad we came here. 
Glad we found it. Saw it all. I've always been afraid to write my own stories. Afraid they'd end up nowhere and matter to no one. Okay. But I think that could be the next dream for me. I, I love that the fire is actually animated in this story. Come visit, we have windows. Ooh, tempting. Very tempting. I mean, I have windows, but none of them are ones that I can sit in when it's raining. The, the radiators kind of block doing that. Can't help you there. Yeah, yeah, it's... I mean, the best place to put the radiators is right under the windows. It's, it's honestly the best place for it, but it does make it a little... Eh. Aina, what if you can't go back? He's more concerned about it than she is. That's interesting. In stories, isn't that the rule? That you can only visit it once? Hmm. You know, I've been reading since I was small. Books by heroes and half-crazies. Fiction of all kind and quality. What I'm thinking now is... It's time I started putting life into my own words. Oh my god, she's becoming an author. Quick, everybody duck. Find cover! Hey! Aina Hughes is now a bronze horn warrior. Okay, so we have heroism. Once per combat, Aina gains plus one action point and attack actions only cost one action point this turn. Blood Rage. Ina's melee and ranged attacks deal more damage based on the percent of health she's missing, up to a max of plus six damage. Uh, that one's scary. I don't want to do that one. Paladin. If Ana ends her turn by moving, she will automatically enter Guardian, or an upgrade to Zealous Leap. Cooldown reduced from one every other turn to once per turn clears pin on use. Hmm... We're going for Paladin. I, I really like that if you end your turn by moving, you'll enter Guardian. That's really useful. So, Paladin it is. Okay, and then the tannery here needs to be patrolled. You three are going to take care of that. Site secured. A thorough delving through the mysteries of Seder Foundry has proven rewarding. I was mostly just messing with stuff, to be honest. Alright, I'm being stolen. Good luck with the game. <gasps> stolen? Oh my goodness, sound the alarms. <laughs> Have a good night, Mad Lib. And, you know, hello to the person stealing you, because I think I can guess who it is. <laughs> good night. Okay, what did we find? Three ingots. And warrior armor, tier two, except that all my warriors are already in tier two armor. Oh, well, and they're all in the same armor, too. Oh, that's spectacular. Okay, let's just salvage it for a hide, then. Okay, and a sun cedar ring for plus six stun chance. I mean, we could give it to Kemloth and, and increase his, his stunt chance again. That's oddly tempting. But I wonder if it might be good to spread it around. Let's see. 48 if Rumbert wears it. 27 if Brig wears it. Oh, well, we're not going to give it to one of the Mystics because the Mystics don't actually stunt very much, so... Uh, 48 if Kem wears it, and 36 if Aina wears it. Hmm. I think Brig is actually the best choice here because she ends up with the lowest number. So we're going to give it to Briglera, actually. 
She'll wear it on the hand that isn't on fire. Okay, uh... I don't feel like putting defenses on this tile. So we're just gonna send those three over here. We're all going to gather over here. And of course we've got an incursion of Thrixel. Ugh, I can't get anything done because the incursions happen so frequently. They're taking the exact same route again. Ugh, I wish I'd never put in the bridge. Okay, well, we're going to finish up here and then we're going to head to Chuck Queen. Okay, passage open. Iron Hills no longer infested. Okay. Three people who take about the same amount of time will stay behind and the others will go. Actually, you know what? Why, why don't we send those three people to patrol over here? Oh, it was four people. Okay, fine, we'll, we'll send four people. Okay, so the Gorgon Usric wants extra armor, the Thrixel Dweaver wants to deliver a mind worm, the Morthaki Spectic wants to bring another friend, and the Kinestend wants extra health. Oh man. Ugh, I hate all of these, but I hate getting mind worm again more, so I'm going to cancel the mind worm and I'm just gonna have to let the others go through. You know, okay, we're, we're spending extra points because I don't want the Kinestan to have extra health either. Okay, pig levels has been cleared of infestation. Yay! Okay, let's just... Oh, no, no. This is why I can't do that quickly. Okay, the people who are... Yes, you four. Go. I keep sacrificing Utsun Seal just to make the, <laughs> the invasion weaker. Possibly I'm a terrible person. Yeah, Utsun Seal has now been ruined. And now they're at Chuck Queen. We'll let them kick at the... Oh! My barriers repelled them. Okay, so Marthagi Welding wants extra armor. The Thrixel Scorier wants to bring a friend. The Marthagi Groundskeeper wants extra damage. And the Thrixel Bard wants to bring a friend. Okay, the Scorier friend is worse than the Bard friend. Oh, my legacy points! Uh. 
Okay. Full defenses, and it's only one star. This is... this is perfect. I... I... We defend on this. Yes, everybody. Everybody! All together, let's go. The Thrixel have come, bleeding into view. There they are. How should the defenders respond? There's ways in this forest only we may know. Okay, so Yorietta wants to charge into battle and take the fight to them once again. 79% chance. Mythway wants to use our knowledge of the land to harry them at 92%. That's This is sounding very familiar, actually. And Briglera wants to stay hidden until the last moment and fight with cunning. I know things went terribly with this last time, but we're still going to try to use our knowledge of the land to harry their approach. Go, Mythway, go. Yes. The enemy ranks absorb uncountered fire spread over the rooty walks and winding deer paths of the wood. It's an audacious day. All begin to feel part of the story that grows under them. Okay, so all foes are starting with two damage, and all heroes have double stunt chance. <laughs> okay, so we have a Drathix with extra health, extra damage, and the possibility to give Mind Worm. The bard text is so big that it has covered up the picture. So the bard and the friend... Uh... Man, I, I, I don't even know. Okay, so extra health, extra health, extra armor, extra damage, successful attacks to give Mind Worm. Double bite, second magic bite, deals plus one damage. Double bite, second magic bite, deals plus two damage. I, I don't know. There there may be more, but it's... It's, uh, it's in code. It's in code. Okay, so the Kinestend. I've already read that tonight. We have a triple Dweaver with extra health and extra damage. A Nightmare with extra armor, extra damage, and the ability to give Mind Worm. And thankfully for my, despite it having cost me so many legacy points, a single scorier with extra armor and the ability to give Mind Worm. Thank goodness there's only one. So far. Alright. And we are mostly clustered into the same spot again. Uh, we definitely don't have to worry about anything out that way, so we're fine on that front. Everything is this way. Where's the spawn point? I can't see it. Okay. Um... Oh, man. Decisions, decisions. Okay, first things first. Brig. We are going to put you right by the fire. You are going to call for a volley of arrows onto these two guys because I hate them. Fire at will! That makes me so happy. Okay. Please, Brig, please. I believe in you. Yes. Okay, one of the biggest problems in the group has been taken care of. Yay. The Kinestend is the next biggest problem that I can see, but I can't really reach it. So, uh, we're just gonna have to let it do its thing for a bit. Thankfully it doesn't attack, it just makes a whole lot of enemies. Uh... Yorietta. Yeah, get you up here. And moss these nightmares. Oh, one of them dodged. Okay, do I mean... 
I kind of like this actually, do I need? But... Mm. Yeah, okay. Okay, Fox. By Neen, you and Fox against the world. 91, 91, can't actually see that one. Okay, uh. Go, Dwineen, go. Nice. Okay. Ain, what are you? You again? Uh, you, you hang out, like, right here, I think. Mythias, you grab... Ooh, yes. Grab that rock. And this rubble. And discus off this rock into the kinestat. Oh, that's that's pretty sweet. Can we get an archer in there? I don't think we can get an archer close enough. What archers do we have left? I think the only archer we have left is the farmer. And, yeah, he definitely can't get close enough. Uh, do I send him over here to help with the Dweavers? Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna... We're, we're gonna let the Kinestend be. We're gonna send this guy over here. 89, can't actually see that one. All right. Cool. Uh, you, you really can't do much of anything, can you? Uh. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to send Kemloth over here. And Rumbert. Here. Okay. Mythway. Everything nearby has been grabbed. Okay. Uh, wait. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Goodbye, nightmares. I like that. Aina is coming up here. Cam is gonna guardian. Fox is gonna guardian. Aina is just gonna have to wait. Rumbert is gonna guardian. There's the scorier. There's the bard. Okay, and that's the spawn point there, apparently, and one there. Okay.
Mythias. This is a very important Can't do much about the scorier, unfortunately. Uh... Kim, I want you to come up here so that those four are in your inspired field. Oh, that, that scorier is going to come for us. Uh, we'll worry about that cluster in a bit. Uh, meanwhile, over here... Okay, uh... Quistnock. Take that Dweaver. Darn it. All right, uh... Mm -hmm. Oh! Okay, okay, I can work with that. I'm, I'm happy with that. Okay, Brig. If Brig moves over here... Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Norietta. You have enough range to go for this bard. You have enough range to moss it? No, no, you do not. Okay. Get that bard. Oh. Wow, did you get that bard. Okay. Okay, we're... That scorier is going to be a big problem soon, but... Um... There's not really anything that Mythway can grab that would actually be useful, is there? Although the Scorier is definitely going to be coming for this group. Okay, grab the buckets. This pile of rubble. Yeah. Yeah, that 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 feels that feels pretty good. And can I put a rock shield? Let's use this because it's got higher health. We'll use a rock shield from this and we will pop it on Mythias. Because the scorier is coming for that group. Aina, you guardian. Kem, you guardian. 
Guardian. It didn't burrow. <gasps> it didn't burrow. Oh, another kinestend. No. It's not here. It's down there. Okay. Quest knock. This is the most important shot of your life. don't know what to do with this guy, to be honest. Um, you know, staying next to Brig is probably the best thing, but the question is... Yeah, Brig, Brig can't actually attack anything from this particular fire at this time. Okay, Brig, you come up here. Fox, I guess you're guardianing. Because that one Dwaver refuses to die. Ain, uh, you come up here, I guess. Ain, uh... You know what? Why, why not? It's a pity we can't get both the Kinestand and the Chrysalis. They're just a little bit too far apart. I actually feel that it's more important to get the Chrysalis. Chrysalis? Fire at will! That way they won't hatch. Well, at least one of them won't hatch. Sure, those suckers don't hatch. Oh, why'd it have to go so far away? And why'd there have to be another one? Oh, oh, thanks, I hate it. Okay, Ain, it's time for you to actually do something. Why? Why will this Dweaver not die? Uh, okay, I will work on that problem in a bit. method in this madness. I just need to... Okay, the farthest you can move and still shoot is there, so... 
You go first. All alone. Blocked. Okay, Dwayneen. You go in front of him. And hopefully have better luck. Okay, you did a bit of damage. You did a bit of damage. And Fox, you go in front of all of them. Okay, uh... <gasps> Mythway. Take that fire. And put it there. Dodge that! Okay, Aina. Man, I, I hate this. Okay, um, break. Rig. Go there. Jump into firing position. Apparently still can't hit the kinna stand, but take the shot anyway. Yorietta, where where can you go and still shoot at that thing? Everybody's going to end up scattered everywhere. It's going to be horrific. Kim, yes, Kim, get get up next to her, Kim. That way she's inspired. Yeah, right there. Rumbert. Mythias. Not anything to grab close enough to the... Like, I, he can't reach that fire, I'm almost 100% certain. So... Uh, where can I put this where it'll be useful but not in the way? There's nowhere! Okay, forget that. This is a very important shot, Yorietta. Did it get poisoned? Yes. Guardian. All right, Fox. Yeah, 
Yeah, this this is gonna be a, amazing. Yeah. Awesome sauce. Okay, okay, something like progress is happening. She can't shoot. What about if we volley them? Fire at will! <laughs> All right, scooch over here. Wait, wait a minute. Did it die? It was right here, wasn't it? Where'd it go? Aina, hell for leather forward. The heck did it go? Okay, just in case, Dwayne's gonna move up. Because I'm not sure how long these things have before they hatch. And you just sort of stand here and wait, why don't you? Go, go and go and stab it, Fox. <laughs> I think I might have actually come through that without anybody getting injured again. <gasps> it's a miracle. Also, Ana has leveled up. Let's see here. Wind walk. Once per combat as a swift action, Aina can call on a wind spirits to guide her to a distant tile. Inspiration so that Aina gives adjacent allies plus one bonus damage and spell damage. Blood rage, uh, which I've already read tonight and which I hate. Or an upgrade to paladin where she enters guardian at the end of every turn, even if you ended your turn by attacking, which we are 100% taking. It would have been nice to have another person with inspiration, but I can work around that, whereas the paladin thing is so useful. So, upgrade the paladin. Okay, well, we, we managed that. Okay, so first things first, we need a patrol on that tannery. Uh, don't mind me while I mess around. Uh, we're, we're going to do this a little bit sideways because I'm trying to take less time. Except it's going to take more time, so it's, it's, uh, it's all confusing. But, uh, there, there is a plan here, I swear. Okay, and Udden Seal needs to be repaired, and you four are going to do it. Let's 
keep this from happening. Oh, it's it's gonna keep happening. It's it's gonna happen over and over again. Every time we get attacked, in fact. Okay, that's being cleared of infestation, which means we are going to assault it immediately with the five people who are already there. Ha <laughs> ha! Planning! <laughs> Boss. Russell, Russell. Uh huh. Okay. Odd noises. Hmm. Is it a fountain or. Oh! New person. Hi. Troubled times. Green things grow the greener. Sharing springtime with a thin worn winter th through old world. This is a very lovely place. Yes, and so is most every place. Hmm, guess so. You remind me of my little sister. Such a flute note, a wandering smile, a very strong girl, and yet so soft. He's flirting with her, but she's taken. Something happened, huh? To her? Hmm. I was bothered. I was bothered before. Then I walked up on this place. And I still don't know. There's a lot of heavy things. I try to keep a piece of me good and buoyant anyway. Maybe that's what gets me feeling so tired. Sometimes the simple things. A grin, a laugh, an unexpected burst of song or noise. These can be our most heroic deeds. I rove around these parts to look at the moss, bend down to look at the clover, to run my fingers through the moss and clover, to smell the damp earth and stones. Washing your hands in the moss and clover can clean away the hurt, the guilt, and worry. It sounds so sweet and... but... I'm called away, unfortunately. Before the light dies, I... Wait, here, a moss in memory. He presents a green sash. Or, you fight, right? Let me give you something. To lose the gloom glass ring, plus two, plus two to four LP. Mm. I... Mmm. Part of me really wants the item, whatever it is, but I really need the legacy points. <sighs> I'm sorry, Yorietta. We're, we're taking the legacy points, sorry. It meant a lot to me. Wear it well. Wear it well and think of me often. And farewell. The others await Yorietta's arrival, readying for battle at Orphane Tannery. Be safe. Oh, hey! Leaf Spirit! Hmm. But you know, it is strange, isn't it? Look at all these magical things I've collected. Someday I'd like to give something away like that. A little treasure. Be the helpful stranger in a hero's story. Ah, well. Guess there's good people in the world. I only wish Cason had met some of them. Had met her. But he... Four legacy points! Yay! I needed those so much. Okay, so we have a... Counting the arms, four spectics. I don't, I don't trust the numbers on the cards. I can't tell you why. I don't know why. But I don't. So I just count the number in the pictures. Uh, extra health and extra damage on those. A double sommelier with extra damage. Hissing tubes, a gulping pump. It teeters forward on spindly legs, trailing virulent vapors. A groundskeeper that both has extra health and extra damage. A coachman that also has extra health and extra damage. A butler. All its movements are measured and soft, elegant and ill-meaning. A batch bee with extra health, extra armor, and extra damage. And a single lonely weldling 
with extra health, extra armor, and extra damage. This is awful. Oh, I've let so many things go through on the Marthagi. Oh! Is there anybody here who doesn't have a spirit weapon already? Yorietta has a fire weapon. Guainin has a stone. Mythias has the special staff of that, um... Mythias has a special staff. Aina has leaf weapon. And Fox has a water weapon, so we... We don't actually need to chase after that spirit. Yeah, yes, it can be an extra legacy point, but uh, as you can see, it's running right in between the Batchby and the Coachman, and that's bad. Speaking of the Coachman, I it's going to charge us, so... So let's try to do something about that. Oh, it blocked me. Okay, Yorietta, you come up here. Nice. Aina. Okay, yes, yes, okay, I see, I see here. We're gonna throw the net at the coachman and hope that it works. No, no, it did not work. That is, that is unfortunate. I could zealously leap, but there is very little point to it. I guess she's just going to guardian. Um, hmm. Dwayne will move you in here. See if you can take that some on me. Excellent. Okay. Now I'm hoping that the, the configuration that I have put myself in is going to make it a problem for the coachman to attack us. I don't know for certain though. Oh no. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, that's that's not hitting the fire spirit. I have a feeling that like it, I feel like it's bad luck to kill the fire spirit. <laughs> I cannot explain. That's just how I, I feel like I feel like that it's, it's a bad thing. So we're just going to barrage the Batchby and the coachman instead. Coachman, I hate where Yorietta is, though. She dodged pretty good the first time, though. I... Mm. Okay. Okay. 
box goes and backs up Yorietta and also takes out this batch bee, which gives Yorietta a chance to take a shot at this sommelier. Ina moves on up to the door. Lydine joins the cluster. So does Mithias. Okay, groundskeeper. Oh boy. the butler. Okay, yeah, I think this is the way. We hold the door. Does this pull the butler? No, it just it just injures it. Okay. All right. New guardian. You Wow, you can shoot that far? All right then. Bunch of little guys. We're not going to worry about the fire spirit. The fire spirit is the least of the worries. Mythias. Reach out and grab something. hammers. Figure out if we- oh, we can hit all three! Nice. Okay. Progress. Dorietta can't see the butler where he is, but she can see all of these other things. Except the welding. She can see both the spectics, but she can't see the weldling. Okay. 81% for that one. 80 okay, 81. Oh, and it dodged. 66, 81. Disappointing. Very disappointing. Nice. Oh, Lordy, we are on fire.
chat. Fox cannot quite get into attacking position on that butler. Can Aina? No, Aina cannot. Mm. We're going to have to move no matter what, so... Aina here. Fox. Mm, here. Norietta here. Lining here. Mythius. Yeah, this is this is gonna have to happen. Go, Mythius, go. Okay. Spectic out of here, and that way the butler is the only target left. Together. Go Fox, go! Actually, wait, wait. No, it doesn't have any armor, so... Cool, 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 cool. And we got more Wilder Guard, which we don't need. Okay, salvage that for a hide. Goody, the Marthagi wardrobe is getting extra health. Great. Okay, the tannery is ours. Still rebuilding the defenses down here. Okay, we, we're going to have to go the three and three here. Uh, we're going to pull Brig over to the scout team. going to catalog everything on this spot with the three that are left. The Gambler. One of the forest trails dribbles into swamp, disappearing among pools and rooty trunks. Dragonflies garble the air with their wings and whirrs. So if a cardinal marries a blue jay and they have eggs, does that make a purple bird? And if that really is true, as I've now decided to insist, then how come I never see any violet jardinals or plum k's? You have indulgent eyes. Make a dangerous gambler. What? Hmm? Well, who are you? A rover? 
That's right, a rover, a wind chaser. My name's Lathiel Audenbone. Some there are that call me Lucky Lathiel, or the Silver's, Silver Step Lady. Some just call me the Gambler. How do you remember which one you are? You can quiz yourself and usually find out, unless you've been at the bottle. In any case, I should give a good greeting to you. Out of the way place to meet a traveler. Out of whose way? Apparently not ours. I'm on the home path myself, but here I can crown a moment like this. Lathiel produces a small box, banded in bright brass. Behold! She sets it on a stone. A chance meeting reminds us that chances are fleeting. Here's a little betting box. How about two strangers wager together in the wet marsh? The game is guessing what's inside, and your word is your wager. You'll pay what you say. I'd guess something worn, a trinket, for 90%. In a box, maybe some precious materials, for 80%. The essence of life itself, at 72%. As she crouches to look closer, or nothing, nothing's in the box. Hmm... Let's take the 90%, all right? A trinket? A trinket, you say? Or uh, some worn article, like my bracelet of grace here. Oh no, no, ooh, mm. Dwayne flicks the lid open and spies the small treasure nestled inside. Truly an extraordinary guess. The others will hate this. Sure you want to part with it? You wagered and won, that's rules. Also, it wasn't something I cherished. Worn it in fine stock, sorry, won it in fine stock off a local legend, rattling dice until our palms blistered and bled. Hey, what's your name? Did you say it? Dwineen. Not really bled, though, right? To think you beat my betting box. Annoying. Fare you well, Dwineen. May fortunes find us on a drinking bench someday. A Gwelder necklace for extra health. An old necklace with a craggy gem. Okay, let's see here. Not a lot of necklaces in our group. Let's see. Rumbert would go to 19.5. Briglera would go to 12.2. Mythius would reach 9.7. Mythway would reach 10.6. Yorietta would go to 8.7. Aina would go to 13.7. And Fox Eve would go to 10.7. Um, I feel like it should go to one of my frontliners. And it looks like of those of my frontliners who don't have necklaces, Fox has the lowest number, so I'm going to give it to her. Hopefully it won't get tangled in her trident. Okay. What I'm going to do now is I am actually going to take my break at this point. And when I come back, we're going to patrol this particular square with the Bad Maple Forest. Uh, just to get the whole thing cleared out. And hopefully by then, since the invasion always comes through here, hopefully I will have time to build some defenses on this square. It looks like I don't actually have to capture it, so I can hopefully just build defenses on it without having to claim the spot. Uh, we'll find out together, I guess, after the break. Uh, so that is, that is the main... Uh, plan at this point is to get defenses on this spot and that way the invasion will not make it as far as it has been. At least that's the idea. 
Uh, then, of course, there's claiming this square, and then on to the end of the chapter. But uh, we'll worry about things in order. For now, my drink desperately needs refilling. I need a bio break. And maybe I should run some ads? I'm not entirely certain. My time sense is terrible, so I'm not sure exactly how long it's been since the last time ads were run. But in any case, I'm going to take care of the things that need to be taken care of, and I will be back in just a few minutes. Hello, I have returned, and thus this means that it is time to start to enact my plan, which hopefully is not going to take too long. I hope. Maybe. Okay, so first things first, we're going to patrol. The site's going to be secured. A thorough delving through the mysteries of Orphane Tannery has proven rewarding. Seeking answers, sorting through lies. How much will we ever know? Two hides. And an Owlwise strap for potency. Hmm. Potency is good for everybody, and I have... Yeah, I have two straps for my entire roster. Uh, let's see, 3.7 for Rumbert, 5.4 for Brig, 6.6 .6 for Mythias, 6.3 for Mythway, 6.1 for Kem, 4.4 for Yorietta, and 2.3 for Fox. I think I think I should give this to one of the mystics. I, I feel like that would be the most fun. So 6.6 .6 or 6.3. Let's give it to Yeah, let's let's give it to Mythway. Goes really well the Owlwise strap goes really well with her wings, don't you think? Okay. And three of you gather up onto this spot. Arrived at Bad Maple Forest. Okay, so I have to put a station in in order to have defenses. That is unfortunate. Okay. Well, what we'll do is we'll send the trio to patrol down there. And up here we will build a station. I can lead the work if you want. Let's put our hands to it. Okay, Finestock's famed hunters swear they could increase their haul with a new hunter's blind. There's hardworking families would lo would love a new lumber yard, but then there's also their responsibility to the old forest gods. Okay, so a hunter blind for heartwood and hide, a lumber yard for heartwood, or a forest shrine for heartwood and spell threads, and I always need spell threads. I have this vague hope that I'll actually be able to make new equipment before the final fight, but we're going to go for the Heartwood and Spell Threads, because I never have enough Spell Threads, ever. And the three of you are going to work on that. Tier 3 defense is completed. Okay, you are inefficient at it, but... I'm going to send the three of you to scout this area out. Forest Shrine dedicated. Evan's Sun Shrine produces heartwoods and spell threats. Okay. Even Sun Shrine. Tier 3 defenses on here. Yes, you guys do that. Enemies advance their plans over time. The Draven Divan wants to bring a friend. The Gorgon wants extra health. 
The Thrixel Bard wants extra armor, and the Morthagi Butler wants extra health. Uh, the Bard is not getting their wish. Okay. Pig levels cleared of infestation. Excellent. Uh, hmm. Ladies, I would like you to just hang out there for a bit. Goldlands has been revealed with the Hyungland Mine infested by Thrixel, of course. Okay, I'm going to be something resembling clever about this. Brig, Yorietta, and Dwineen are going to be the ones patrolling. And the other three are going to Cool their heels for a little bit. All right, cleared of infestation. Okay, we still have time. We still have time. So. Uh, Fox, Aina, Mythias, Dwineen, and Yorietta are going to assault this. And everybody else is going to gather over there. Strangers passing in the night. A night visitor's song. What would you do, Aina, if you found your heart racing at the thought of... of another? Someone you stood beside through danger and then... Yorietta, you are practically a married woman. Mortality is a thing I think about a lot. And with mortality in mind, I suppose I'd pursue any chance I had at, you know, living more powerfully. Loving. Shh. Stop mumbling for a second. You hear that? Hushed voices and careful footfalls approach down the overgrown path. To Fox's ears, even these muffled noises are perfectly loud. Ha ha! Come forward, strangers. If you're friendly, come forward slowly. Silence, perhaps a minute of it, is all the answer that emerges from the thick wall of brush. Then... Paltol, you dolt! They're not fooled by this. We're prolonging the inevitable. Yes, mistress. Um, should I offer myself? Introduce us! We can... We, can, we hear you. <laughs> oh, oh there. You look like experienced... Whatever you are. Bandits? Rogues? Not hounding for captives, I hope. Come on out of there. You're caught anyway. He well Oh move it you fool How are you so miserable at this Sorry mistress Here take my arm A pair of travelers Clambers free of the bracken Their clothing fine but a tad filthy Hello strangers I'm Palto servant and apprentice To this prestigious and lovely woman Who Well perhaps we shouldn't use your real name That's Quistly Umber Eh? Oops, she knows your name. 
And why wouldn't she? Quistly the dream chanter, poet and peerless singer, impossible to turn away an ear when she's plucking strings, spinning yarns, deploying her famous vowels. Well, you don't seem like a threat. Come sit by the fire. We're not in any kind of bad business. By the fire sounds grand. Aina, mistress. The small camp settles a little awkwardly. Introductions go round. Shortly thereafter, Yorietta can't help herself. She bends Quistley's ear. Yours was the first performance that actually, well, moved me in a genuine way. I don't often go for serious poetry, you know? The capital P kind? But... I got to listen to your performance of Glimmer Scene in Finestock. Masterful. Rumor was you intoned all of the Old Wayne saga in a day and a night, and no one dared chew a morsel. Yes, yes, I remember those days. I try not to miss them. Oh, mistress, you don't need to say it. I do, though. Just that nothing lasts forever. Bad fever took my lofty registers from me, my volume. Performance is such a physical thing. Most forget that. I'm weak nowadays. I lean on him, my student, Paltol, there. Mistress. I would love to show that gift to you again, but it's gone now. Only the memory remains. Why not try a small song? Even if it's quiet, even if it's just a shadow of you, we'd like it. I... well, I could try. It's been a few years now. A 71% chance, or... Or we could see what the apprentice has learned. Oh, he looks terrified. Oh, let's let's not terrify the apprentice. Let's let's not terrify the apprentice. We'll try on the seventy-one percent chance. Oh, it's not a very good chance. Quistly Umber, the dream chanter, pulls her instrument from its case. A hum collects in her throat, then ebbs, then rises again, spilling between pitches, and stops. Don't strain yourself, mistress. It's a good night, I think. I may have a few verses in me. First, she moves her fingers over the strings of the mandolute. Great rings of sound, chords, and twining threads. Good music. The melody hangs and wobbles and winds around the ear. It curls in the heart like an old dog returning. My father wrote this for me. It was my first song. Next, she begins to sing. I sit inside the wind. The moon looks down on me. The places that I've been, I'll linger distantly. I'm here for you whenever you need me. I'm here to see that someday you don't. You'll find me in a tree, if a tree is there to find. Stand tall or on your knees, a tree will treat you kind. Though I'm here for you when you don't want me, I'm here for you in case someday you do. Her voice is sheer as gauze. It yields to the slight sigh of a breeze, but it persists, trembling strong. It's beautiful. Suddenly, an unpleasant scrick closes her mouth. She swallows, appears to be fighting a cough. Unshed tears are starbright in the firelight. Are you... Mistress? But she shakes her head. Her fingers repair the halted tune. Now I live in smoke. The clouds and cliffs my bed. The weird and rippling water bends around your head. Night comes along like a stray with a song. Asks me to travel on, but I'll wait until you're sleeping. Hmm. He see the the apprentice still seems sad for some reason. That's, uh, that was my father's lullaby. Honestly, your voice. My life, I know, has been blessed. The night before the fight at Hunglen Mine passes quite quietly. Huh. The... Raccoon's extra armor has been removed from the deck? Hey! Sure! I- I- ooh! Ah! Mm, they're very close! 
Okay, so all heroes have plus two damage and potency for three turns, uh, which we're going to be able to take advantage of because, oh boy, that's, that's very close. Oh my. All right, so we have a quadruple thrusk with extra health, extra armor, the ability to give Mindworm and a bunch of extra damage on their bites. A triple seeker with extra health, extra armor, and the ability to give Mindworm. Oh, excuse me, where'd these hiccups come from? A Muse with extra health. A Kinestend. A Drathix with extra health, extra damage, and the ability to give Mindworm. A Nightmare with extra armor, extra damage, and the ability to give Mindworm. And a Scorier with extra armor and the ability to give Mindworm. I hate Mindworms! They're everywhere! Everyone gives them to me! Why do they have so many Mindworms to give? Why are these guys all right there? Um... Okay, well... Uh... Hmm... Yeah, I, I think we're we're going to have to. Uh, we're just gonna have to moss the lot of them, I think. Yeah. All right, forward, Ana. Okay, Fox here. Reaches past Ima, stabs that Seeker. Um, hmm. Okay, if we put Dwymeen here... And Nithias here, then everybody is attached together. Uh, let's grab this trough. Question is, do we Splinter Blast, 5 damage, 6 shred, 6 pierce, or Scalding Rain, 13 to 14 magic damage, 2 shred, 4 range? You know what? Let's, let's rain the Scald. Although we can only do that upon one target, but that also means that we have the trough to use next turn, which is important to me. Scalding Rain for the Kinestin. And then Dwayne takes out this Seeker. Okay, it only got two chrysalises out, so at least there's that. Marietta, you jump over here. And Dwayne goes here, and then Mythias doesn't actually have to move, but I may have him because I would love to have him stand on the celestial spot. Uh, 
at her. Excellent. Okay. Mythius, you step up over here. And yeah, it's building rain upon that chrysalis. I need to shoot the other chrysalis. Isn't that great? Mm. Okay, we're we're going to leave Ina where she is for the moment because I can't think of anything Unless, hmm. Marietta, how can, far can you move and still be useful? Oh, I definitely don't want you there, girl. Um. There. Fox, you get up in here. Nice. Okay, then Yorietta. Perfect. Get up in here. Take a shot at the one nightmare that didn't get poisoned. Lithius continues standing in the celestial. Um, grabs that shovel. And barrages the lot. Actually, barrages this lot. Um. worms oh man oh Ooh. ah thanks I hate it okay mm. most important thing remove mind worm Also remove the mind worm. And it's gonna get blocked. Okay. Fox will remove the mind worm. Graphics has got to go. This is the only one who didn't get poisoned. OK. 
Okay, there is nothing forward for him to grab. That is unfortunate. Okay, we can roots and shoots. Or I can gloom glow. Or I can actually I can do both. Okay. No, wait, I couldn't do both. Okay, now Fox is being dominated. Aina, dear. Try to remove that dominated. Did it work? I think it worked. Maybe. Nope, still dominated. Hey, now try again. Okay, there we go, okay. <gasps> that was nearly terrifying. Okay. Why can't you move, Aina? Okay, Yorietta, move up here. Moss them. Take out the biggest threat. Take out the biggest threat. Uh, let's see. Wild Grass, 10 damage. Fine Wrench, 11 to 13. And wrench them over there. Okay. Okay, we're not dead yet. All praise Vine Wrench. Fair Strength Pauldrons for 0.7 bonus damage. Layered plating, hushed with hide backing. Okay, we have a lot of pauldrons, so there's not a lot of choices of where to put this. Uh, it is most likely best to put these on a uh, frontliner, probably. Or at least somebody who actually attacks, and the only one left is Fox. So, uh... <laughs> Because bonus damage doesn't do anything for mystics. So, here you go, Fox. You get some pauldrons. You'll finally be like the rest of the group. Go you. Ah, the Thrixel Seeker is uh, getting extra damage. Just what we need. Oh, that all, that all stung a lot. Okay, did anything get infested while I was playing around with that? No, nope, we're looking largely infestation free here. Cool. 
we're going to secure the mine with a thorough investigation, which we might as well do with the five people who are already here. Go for it. And otherwise, we're just going to wait. Okay, sight secured. The more questions you ask, the closer to truth you shall ever come. Crow feather cloak. Dignified and thick. Proof against wind and weather. Extra warding! Oh, we, we don't have a lot of cloaks. So who could use the warding? Let's see. 3.7 for Rumbert. 4.5 for Mythias. 2.8 for Kem. 4 for Dwynein. 4.2 for Aina. And 3.8 for Fox. Hmm. I think Rumbert wins as having the lowest number at the end of the day. <laughs> Congratulations, Rumbert. Have, have this... Oh! Oh, that looks so good. Oh, that looks really good on your incredibly broad shoulders. Oh, that that's amazing. Okay, what are we looking at materials-wise? We have ingots, we have heartwoods, we have hides, we have four spell threads. Ooh, we, we're not going to be able to make much of anything out of that. Um... Let's see. You have... Where, where's your... You have a tier 3 bow. Okay. You have a tier 2 bow. You have a tier 3. Uh, we're, we're not touching you with a 10-foot pole, actually. Let's just skip past the mystics. They're going to take too many spell threads. Uh, let's see. You have a tier 2. You have a tier 3. You also have a tier 3. And you have a tier two. Hmm. See, if I go over to town, I would be able to um, make some equipment, but I can only use what's on hand. And the thing is, like, it's going to take enough time to travel to town that we're probably going to get another incursion before I get there. Wait a minute, I don't have to go. I can just do. Okay, never mind. Hold on. Okay, Aina. If we wanted to take her to a tier 3 leaf axe, 9 ingot, 3 heartwood, 2, that would be half the spell threads. Okay. Dwineen. It would take three spell threads to get to the next bow. Fox. Three spell threads to the next spear. Uh, Mythway is actually using a tier two wand, but there's no, yeah, there's no way I have enough spell threads, so. Okay, so I can, I can create, Uh, 
I can upgrade two people out of the three without making myself very poor. Because I definitely have enough of the other materials. It's mainly the spell threads that are the issue. Okay, Fox, it would raise by one damage. Do I need it raises by damage, range, and stunt damage? And Aina, it raises damage, shred, and stunt damage. Okay, so Aina and Dwineen are the ones that it would be the most uh, beneficial to, to do this. So yeah, we're, we're going to upgrade Aina and Dwineen, and Fox is going to have to continue with a tier 2, I'm afraid. Okay. Witch Ruin? I actually kind of like that, considering the plot that's going on here. A mythic axe imbued with the wild growing spirit of leaves. Okay. Craft that. And we're actually going to keep the name Witch Ruin because I think it is appropriate under the circumstances. Oh, I can only do one at a time? Oh, that that's that's awful. I could send Dwineen to another town, but that's going to be even longer. But yeah, I, I feel like it would cost one legacy point in order to get Dwineen the level three stone bow. And I think that that is very worth it under the circumstances. We're about to go into the last fight. So that's, yeah, we're doing this. We are definitely not calling it the Bright Arc, though, because that, that's, that's dumb for a stone bow. Uh, Terror Seeker? No. Alder Weaver of Dwineen? <laughs> no. Bright Arc of Battleweld? Hornetwood Weaver? Root Weaver? Cherry Bow of Youngland? Alder Curve? Rowan Song? Hawkseeker? Flame Beach Weaver? The Blush Seeker? What the heck? Cherry Quill? Stormark of Youngland? What is with the Hunk Youngland? Oakenbow? Okay, it's it's not as stupid as the previous ones have been, so this one's gonna be Oakenbow. Simple names for scary items. Okay. I am not entirely sure what else to do while I wait for this invasion and for this crafting to get done. So I guess what I'm gonna do is build some defenses on the Hungland Mine with the people who remain. In Ember March, the Draven Hordes came this way, trailing cinders, of course. A lot of leaf cover. This is the best option I've seen. I just want the people who are on this square. So just the three of you, thank you. The other three. 
three are just gonna cool their heels a bit. Gives Dwineen a chance to recover some hit points. Okay. Enemies advance their plans over the time. Thrixel Dweaver wants to give Mindworm. The Stormthroat wants to do extra damage. The Geist wants extra armor. And the Watchman wants to bring a friend. Now, I only have the one place left. The invasion is definitely going to be Thrixel, so the only one I'm going to stop at this point is the Thrixel. Also, I hate Mindworm. It's driving me nuts. Dwineen has crafted her oaken bow. Okay, Dwineen, uh... Get your butt back over there with the others, okay? Alright. Aina has crafted witch ruin. Whoop! Wrong button. Okay, I just want everybody to gather on this spot. Twineen was already going. Everybody else is already there. Alright, go. There's the incursion I was waiting for. And enough time and wandering around has passed that everyone has recovered their hit points from that last fight, so yay. Alright, everybody gather up. Everybody's at Bad Maple, yes? All nine people? Yes, okay. Come at me, bro. I said come at me, bro. Bro, you coming? Hello, Thrixel. Incursion size 6. We definitely do not want to fight them here or now. We're going to let them injure themselves on the defenses that we built here. They're down to 4, they're down to 3. Okay, uh... Marthagi Watchman wants extra armor. The Draven Stormthroat wants a sharpened beak. Lovely. The Thrusk wants extra damage. And the Dart wants to bring yet another friend. Once again, we are only going to be stopping the Thrixel. Perfect. There's still a defense level left and they're down to one star. That That is about as perfect as it can be. Okay, we will defend this site now. And we're hardly going to have to rebuild anything afterwards. <laughs> Let's go. The Thrixel have come. They seem to split off the very air. What? Does, are, there's got to be variations in text for this, right? How should the defenders respond? Rumbert? I... Alright, Yorietta wants to charge in the battle, taking the fight to them with an 80% chance. Mythway, once again, wants to use our knowledge of the land to harry their approach with a 98% chance. And Briglera wants to stay hidden until the last moment and fight with cunning for a 74% chance. We're going with Mythway once again because we want to harry their approach because we want that 98% chance. Pret, let's knock on wood. All right. 
Okay. The enemy ranks absorb uncountered fire spread over the rooty walls and winding deer paths of the wood. It's an audacious day. All begin to feel part of the story that grows under them. <laughs> All right, the foes start with two damage and the heroes start with a double stunt chance. We've got a bard who brought a friend. I'm not going to read all that stuff again. Uh, I've done it twice now, and I'm not doing it again. The nightmare with extra armor, extra damage, and the ability to give my, my, mind worm. A muse with extra health. A quadruple thrust whose text I'm not reading. A drathix with extra health, extra damage, and the ability to give mind worm. Ugh, I hate drathix almost as much as I hate the scorier with one armor and the attempt, the ability to give mind worm. <sighs> okay. Oh, we're, we're a little more scattered this time. Okay, Scorier, Bard, and Thrusk over here, and another Thrusk over there. It's unusual that there wasn't a Kinestend this time. Not that I'm complaining. Okay, well, these are the only enemies that we can see, so we're going to be concentrating on them. Hey, how about a volley of arrows? Oh, wait, uh, Yorietta cannot see them, can she? Where is Yorietta? That's an excellent question, actually. Let's see. Kemloth, one of the farmers, Rumbert, Mithway, and Hunway who is another one of the farmers, is up there. Uh, Mythias and Yorietta are just sort of hanging out there. You know what? Dwineen. Dwineen is going to call for the Volley of Arrows because she can see the biggest problem. Arrows! Thrask. Okay, uh, priority number one is this scorier. It needs to go. Uh, break. If you're here, can you shoot at the scorier? No, but you can shoot at the scorier if you're here for some reason. That's interesting. What's, what is the difference? I don't understand. Well, it doesn't matter. Shoot that worm. Well, that's pretty close to perfect. There's, there's gotta be some enemies down here somewhere, but I just don't know. I don't like this cluster up here. I, I don't like them being up there. It's going to take them a really long time to get anywhere if there isn't anything out here. Uh, that, that, that's the part that bothers me. Uh, I want to send someone to have a look. Alright, Cam... Oh, well, okay then. Rumbert cannot quite make it, but perhaps if I have him zealously leap over here, there we go. Okay, Hunway. Can I put you anywhere? Where, no, you you can't be anywhere that you can actually attack the nightmare on this turn. That makes me sad. Uh, Mythway, get up in there. 
and grab oh yeah that that seems like fun grab that log and blast that thing now it's two nightmares okay um almost guaranteed that there's something down here. So, Aina, if you would... Oh, yep. Yeah, there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, uh... Yorietta? You move here. Oh, you can. Perfect. Take the shot. Darn it. Mythius? rocks because they're useful and grab this barricade because yep that gives Aina a spirit blade still shoot something. That far, huh? Okay then. Oh, that's, that's, oh, mm hmm Oh boy. <laughs> I, I wish any of these were in reach, but they are not. Man, I wish that Twineen had poison. Uh, 97 on the bard. She could take out a thrusk if she hits it. 93, 93. Can't see it. 93. Uh, bard. No super powered thrusts. Oh, and you. Um just just stand there, okay? Okay. That's a thrust down. That's Aina dominated. It's another thrust down. Graphics identified. Um. Okay, let's let's figure out what's going on with Fox first. She's mind wormed. And poisoned. Great. Okay, well, um, reach into your head and pull out that mind worm. Uh, doesn't really matter which one, does it? Okay, Yorietta, try to remove that dominated. <gasps> it worked on the first try! Uh, 
Okay, can I get him? Oh, I can get him with the Quelling Moss. Just barely. Lots of poison. I like lots of poison. Oh, the Drathix is going to be a problem. cannot get into attack position. But nobody in this group has Mind Worm, at least. Mythway. You've got that log, right? Yeah. Since when can Aina attack a square forward? Like, she could throw her net at it from there, but she couldn't hit him with their axe. I don't really want her to move, uh, simply because Yorietta's already taken her turn. Um, you know what, let's... Brig, can you... Hmm. Question is, can she reach those fire shot areas from here? Firing position is four tiles. One, two, three... No, no, she can't quite reach it. One, two, three, four... Mm. Blast it! Does she not have any position that she can shoot at anything from? Like the only time I get any firing is if I if she goes over here, she can take a shot at the muse. What I'd really like is for her to be able to take a shot at the traffic, but it's just out of range. And I don't think that firing position is actually going to work to get to this fire. Yes. Can you discus from this? No, you cannot. Okay. <sighs> there is nothing that he can grab that would actually be useful under these circumstances. Interesting, okay. Uh, 
Okay, I I have a plan, but it's gonna take multiple turns. got another bard who brought a friend. I don't know where. <sighs> Down here somewhere, probably. It's the only spawn point I can see. Or up here. I don't want to know which one it is. Okay. Uh, first things first, we gotta take care of this Drathix problem. to set up an ambush over here. Hunway is going to run. So is Mythway. Just in case they came in at the upper area, we're going to just basically turn the defense around. That away. Basically. call for a volley of arrows, but I can't actually see my enemy. Okay, chem guards. Brig. Brig has nowhere to jump to. I don't know. I don't know where they are. Come in here, complete this square. Aina's going to be uh, swinging in the breeze a little. It'll be fine. Mythius. Well, my my plan is not necessary anymore. But I'm just going to have you grab this log anyway because it's good for you. Okay, there was the thrust and there is the bar. Okay. And Triple Dweaver have showed up probably at the lower one because, yeah, but we don't know for certain. Okay, Yorietta, can you- no, you can't see it to do the Volley of Arrows. Okay, Brick, call for a Volley of Arrows on this really annoying bard, would you? Fire at will! Uh, 
Okay, either they came in up here or they came in down here. Can't be certain which one it is. So uh, we're actually going to take this cube and move it up just in case. So Rumbert up here, Chem up here, Mythway behind Chem, Hunway behind Rumbert. Going to move up in here. Yorietta is going to set up an ambush just in case anything comes towards us. Is going to join the fun over here and set up an ambush right here. You wait. You. Yeah. Drop a bunch of plants right in there just in case. And you, just in case they are coming from this direction, you are going to grab these rocks. Oh, that's right, you can grab more stuff. Okay, grab more rocks. Okay, they came in above. They came in above, and I can work with that. Rumbert. Rumbert, where are you? Rumbert. Oh, right, we don't have the arrows. Okay, Rumbert, you go here. Kim, you go here. Mythway, here. And Hanway, here. Eighty. Okay, it doesn't matter which one. So, voice. Uh, myth. Mythway. Mythway. Where are you? There you are. Uh, discus. This forward rock. Into all of those dweebers. Oh, sadness. Those are the only ones that are left, so Aina, hell for leather. Everybody move your maximum speed in that direction, please. If only this wouldn't put you in the yellow. Oh well. How far can you go? Oh, that's pretty far.
Cute. Very cute. Let's not hit the farmer with the volley of arrows, shall we? Fire at will! One dweever remains. Rumbert? Hit it. <laughs> Pixel Muse is developing extra armor. Why you gotta do that? Okay. On the off chance that something is going to happen, I'm going to send a full party to scout and patrol Weird Rabbit Falls here. Uh, that party will not be including Fox because she's, uh, she's feeling bad right now. But uh, yeah, what we're going to do is scout this tile. And we're going, this time we're going to be sending our overpowered people. It's not a labor thing, it's a they might be attacked thing. So Rumbert is going in. Mythway is going in. Uh, we're going to be switching Aina for Chem. And yeah, this this is this is what's happening here. So the five of you are are heading off into the zone. The four people who remain are going to be repairing the defenses. This is the way I'd take if I were mounting an attack. Yeah, it's good ground. It's an old forest, this one. Not all the trees are fully tree-ish. Yep, and this will give Fox some time to recover. Tower of Locks. This pocket of wilderness has long been considered too remote to matter on maps. Not to mention, it is exceedingly craggy. Oh, Yorietta is so pleased to see you. The mountains don't have names. Thin fog stains the sunlight pink and leaves a faint taste of salt on licked lips. Mythway follows what appears to be a slice made by snow melt, narrow and twisting round the granite hips of these mute giants. It's a surprise to her when she climbs up again onto a wide level field. On the far side, a cliff, but before that, a light mottled tower. I've seen pillow forts that looked more impressive. Everyone's effort helped us get here. Wits, strong arms, urgent feet. We can do what seems impossible. I find it beautiful. But then, it is one of the few new sights I have beheld in a hundred years. I'm going to say we should assemble here first, before we try and enter. Oh, does that mean I get to take my entire roster for once? That makes sense, because if we believe the story, which we'd better at this point, then there's probably something already sealed inside. Have to be ready for that. Fun fun! Okay, the five of you patrol. Weird Rabbit Flats has been cleared of infestation. Okay. 
Tier 3 defenses completed at Even Sun Shrine. Everybody gather over here. Uh, not the people who are already here. But... Ah! Uh, and Mythius. Okay, everybody is here. This is the last thing in the last chapter. It is very likely that I finish this particular story tonight. Uh, in that case, I will save starting the next arc until the next time that I stream Wildermyth. Uh, so, I will not be starting a brand new story tonight, but we don't know how long this is going to take. Nominally speaking, I have nearly an hour left in this stream. Uh, I don't know that this is going to take that long, but if I end up being a little bit short without starting a new story, that's probably for the better anyway. Alright, Weird Rabbit Flats it is. Assault the Tower of Locks? Yeah, yeah, look at that. I can only take a party of five. Okay. We're taking our best. We're, we're, uh, we're taking the best and the strongest on this run. And also our oldest. It feels a little bit wrong not to be running Mythias for this, but we might need him later anyway. Alright, let's go. Oh, it's paused because I haven't gotten anything for the rest to do. Well, that's fine. We're just going to be hanging out here. I feel bad that the two people that I made sure to upgrade their weapons I'm not actually bringing on this, but... <sighs> well, let's see what happens. Sleeping in the shadow of the Curin Tower is a weird comfort. Reminds me of my first camp, long time ago, out chasing that very book. Feel like we used to take a lot for granted. Now our world's banished, balanced on the spines of a few ragged books. Hmm, well, read it out loud one more time. Keep it fresh. Silver ink gleams on red pages in the firelight. Blasted into the founding stone, the runic script of our entwined souls, smoky words that would elude even the most dream-fluent and wishing-wise, and any who did not share my blood or my wife's, so the seal was made sure. Thereafter, a tower did we raise, our Tower of Locks. From within, no being could go without, and from without, no being within, save when, by our will, the door were unbarred. In the morning, they gather at the tower's foot. If everyone's ready, time we give this a go. So, apparently the door stings. I can't lift it. Too heavy? Just doesn't budge. And then he kicks it. Well, we need it to budge. Just because you need it to budge doesn't mean it will. That's the spell, I guess. It works too well. Honestly, this was always a pretty obvious flaw in our plan. Just hoped we could ask? What, ask, you said? Sorry, but... Yeah, what my mum used to say. You'll never receive the answer you want if you never ask the question. Ask who? Mithway gazes into the wit mist. Ga Why can't I read tonight? Good lord. Curans, ancient ones, you who made this place, we humbly wish you to hear us. That's all right, no carry on. You were sorcerers, right? Your spirits might linger here. Listen to me if you can at all. 
We understand your will was to keep this door closed forever, and we respect that, I think. But the thing is, we need to get in. See, we've got our own monsters to deal with. Or actually. Yeah, actually, they were your monsters first. Maybe we're not your descendants, but we are inheritors of your suffering. So please, lend us the magic you married to these rocks. Your legacy isn't down to its last bloom. Not yet. So please. Please. Mithway throws her weight into lifting the bar from its brackets. Egg! But it practically flies up at her touch. Oh, well, I guess just asking did actually work. Mithway, are you alive? Your ancient bones. Oh, nope, she's hopped right up. Okay. It was so light. Not to me, it wasn't. I didn't get a chance to try it. So then, they must have heard me? Sure, there's no better explanation? In any case, the door's open. Time to find out if we'll regret that. Choose. If there's something in there, better we don't give it time to wake up, for haste and insight. Or, softly now, little birds, I shall paint your wings with shadows, but have a care, for stealth and stoicism. Ooh. <laughs> hmm. I like the stealth. So I'm going to take the stealth and stoicism. In we go. All heroes begin combat in Grey Plane, and all heroes have extra point of armor and warding. Nice. <gasps> and a good thing, too! What the heck is that thing? Okay, so we have... Um... Oh, we have so much. Okay. We have six Seekers with extra health, extra armor, and extra damage. We have one, two, three... We have twelve Thrusks with everything that comes along with that. We have, thankfully, a single Scorier. We have a Bard who brought a Thrusk... Actually, we have two Bards with their two Thrusk friends, so make that fourteen Thrusks. We have a Kinestend. We have six Dweavers. And a Denevere. A husk stalks these halls, wrapped in tattered weave, drifting in a cloud of paper shred whispers. Ugh. And just behind this, I can just barely read that it says, Kill all enemies. Oh boy. This is so much. Why was I only allowed to bring five people on this? Why couldn't I bring all nine? Oh, I'm really glad I took the stealth. Okay, so the thrusts are the immediately visible. If we're lucky, we can deal with things a cluster at a time. And thankfully there wasn't one of those poison-spewing little dragon-looking things, at least. Okay, um... We're going to move people up. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad we are... Yeah. Okay, Cam up here. Yorietta coming in here and you are going to moss the lot of these. I wish you could get that one back there but we're just gonna have to be content with these four. 
now she's visible. Brig, can you co you cannot cone a fire without hitting Rumbert. Okay. Good to know. stand on the celestial buff. What is this? Creature banner. Uh an all ooh, oh, okay. Take the altar. There's the chemist end. Yeah, we're, we're just going to put layers and layers of calcify on you, girl. Okay, guardian. Guardian. single one of them come into melee range. Good of them to cluster up like that though. Oh, there's one in melee range. Just the one I was thinking of. Hoop. Nice. Pity he couldn't get the bard, but... Okay, okay, um, this way, grab this tree so that they can't have it. And use the altar. Hopefully this works. Oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, Brig. Alas, still can't really use the firearm. Uh, that's unfortunate. of Dweavers.
wish I had more AOE. Oh boy. Alright, uh, Yorietta, can you throw Quelling Moss into this room? Um, not as effectively as I had hoped without moving, huh? Um... Hmm. Okay, actually this this might be a job for Briglera. We can fill the doorway with fire. They're going to have problems, because I don't think they have a ranged attack. Um... Move your mind worm. That seeker. Nice. I'd really like to moss over here, but... But she'd have to move awfully far to be able to moss all the way over there. So... Let's moss these dweevers. 56% on that particular seeker. 80. 38. 56. 94. 94. 50. Okay, uh, Mythway, you're standing on a celestial spot, aren't you? No, wait, you're not. Either that or you used it up. Um... want to try and hit this the kinestem so I think I need to go this way okay did a bit did a bit of damage to the kinestem all right all right
Oh, right! They can teleport. had managed to forget that they could teleport. Oh man, this is... Okay, um, we need to start with Mythway because she's got to get that mind worm out. Also, I think I'm going to have to sacrifice this tree. I wish a tree exploded more. Uh, we'll work that out in a bit. Uh, Rumbert is the one who is trapped in stasis right now. Can I do anything about that? Maybe. Okay, Rumbert is very shiny sparkly on the strike right now. He's untouchable because he killed something. Okay, uh, Brig. I feel like more fire is necessary. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, Yorietta, Yorietta. Um, poison the bard, good enough. Poison the seeker, probably good enough. Oh, Mythway, I, I wish that there was something better I could do with you. But the best thing I can think of is exploding this tree. Which is a pity because it's keeping one side of Rumber pretty well protected, but... Splinter Blast, 5 damage, 6 shredge, 6 pierce. Discus, 13 damage. Actually, no, Discus is better. Okay, it would use up the altar, or it would use up the stone. Um, I choose to use up the altar. It's what I've been using so far. Okay, that's done it for the bard. Okay, Kim. What do I do with you? Actually, what do I do with Rumbert? Um, Oh, 
Man, I wish that seeker were poisoned. volunteering to be set on fire. That's not- oh! Big guys here! Scorier's here too, but we're not gonna worry about that right now. Okay, Rumbert, uh, pull that bindworm out of your head. And hit that thrust. Darn it! That was not the thrust! That was the tree! Okay, Brig, try and remove the stasis. There we go. Okay, that Seeker is pretty much dead. So I'm going to ignore it and set these levers on fire. I hate that that Dweaver is still alive. Um, I can moss the Kinestend. Is not dead. That weaver is very not dead. That thrusk is dead. Okay, uh, Kem, I need you to hit something. And I think this thrusk is volunteering. <laughs> was glorious! Okay, that means that Yorietta wants to... Why can't she take an... Oh, because... Oh, I see why. Um... Well, that's... That's, uh... can't do anything about that seeker because it's it's right next to her and I don't want to switch weapons so you know what we're just gonna moss the kinestend again and hmm. is there anything that Mythway can do about this seeker Like, if I discus off of this rock... No, I can't reach that seeker. Not willing to let go of that rock, either. Uh, that, that seeker's just gonna have to continue to be a problem, apparently. Discus from this one... Oh! Okay. Oh, 
the scorier didn't burrow. I may yet live. Okay, um, take the stasis off of Kemloff. to do this. Um, I think the best thing to do would actually be to shuffle everybody forward a step. Okay. Rumbert, you move here. Kamloff, you move here. Okay, Rumbert. Do it. Oh, he untouchable now. Okay, grab. Grab that. Okay, your Yetta. Actually, yeah, I'd rather you do that. Oh, you can hit so many things from that fire. Good luck, Brig. 69, 100, 100, 100. I'd rather take the Dweaver. Yes. Man, I I wish there was something I could do. And taking out this guy's entire magic armor in one shot sounds like a great thing to do. guy did me a big favor, I think. Interfused blazes don't go out. <gasps> oh, oh, thank goodness. He's down. He's down. Yorietta can't moss effectively without moving. So, scooch your butt up here. Get some good moss going. Oh, what, what do we have left? I 
don't want to give up that stone because of the calcify. So I think it's a constrict. Uh, that thrust is going to die from the poison. I believe it does three damage. This one will live through the poison. This one hasn't been touched at all. You know what, let's, let's go for this one. I'd forgotten about him. Oh, Yorietta, my darling. Uh, it's very tempting to stride forward and just beat on the nightmares. Hey Brig, can you can you set that Dweaver on fire? Probably. Whoop, no. Okay. Well, we're gonna stride forward and beat on the nightmares anyway. Hi. Mm. Well, if that's the way I gotta do it, then. Look, Rumbert's inspired now. move up here so that you're completing the chain. I know you're still not in the inspired area, but it's fine. Would you constrict that griever? Yeah. Brother John, hello! Oh my goodness, and a resubscribe! Thank you very much, Brother John! It is good to see you and your prime subscription again. It's been a quite a, it's been quite a bit since I've seen you last. How's life? And thank you very much for spending your prime on me. I do very much appreciate it. Okay, uh, we're we're gonna let we're gonna let Kemloth take care of this problem. Hey, Dweaver! <gasps> How dare you! Ha! We didn't die. There were so many enemies, but we didn't die. Okay, we do not need this Wilder Guard. Everybody already has Wilder Guard. We'll salvage that, even though that's pointless. Creeping silence, mystic light. The shadows are crammed with decayed bits of molting. Age thick air only freshens as a questing draft slips bravely behind them. Manage that without any serious wounds. Good. May not be long now, before we see her. So, this seems to prove the myth. Right, those looked like the eyes of a beast locked away for a thousand years. His fall resounds, like the felling of a mighty redwood. In my head forest, it echoes. Explain that in practical terms? But this is a tower rife with cure and magic, probably. So I mean, couldn't that maybe block the noise? Or something? 
Whether these walls might muffle such a booming spirit, it is too soon to know. Regardless, the time nears that each bird must find her perch in the storm. That's fine poetry, but we still have a lot to consider, don't we? Here, follow me for a second. Mithway walks past them into the Grand Hall. It's good we managed to claim this place. Found it, found it, and opened it. All but showed it could do what we wanted it to. Killed the whatever that was, beast. But see, isn't the hardest part still to come? Getting Ekthus here, convincing her to come inside this tower, and, well, not dying when she inevitably tries to make us die? And then... Mythway, be calm. Outside, the mist rubs its pink fur against the cold blue rocks. No sudden threat sparks up. While the gravity of these problems may just now be weighing on you, I have concentrated almost expressly on constructing solutions. I trusted you all to find this tower, and you did not let me down. Now, allow me to ease your burden. Ekthus has ha hunted me relentlessly for years, has she not? I have deflected her gaze with some substantial effort, and of course, aid. Now, what is left is merely to let our efforts droop, leave my winsome face uncowled. Who would you count on to resist me? Resist punching you, maybe. Ah, uh, how pleasant it is to hear an angsty duck relish his crumbs. Ekthus will come for me. You may have to draw her into the tower, but once inside, I shall exert the sum of my meager powers upon her. She will counter. I should be able to hold her long enough that you can close this door. And when the bar is snugly nested, there will be nothing more she can do, to you or to anyone else. Well, but what about... We combed through this floor, the upstairs, the basement. It's clean. It's sealed. These walls, these confines, they will be her prison. How long will her life here last? Her life here will be the same as her death. And by that, I simply mean... It will go on and on. Filling every room. Possibly without end. And yet, that will be the happiest end for all she loved when love once ruled her. I do think we have to try talking to her. I agree, you must try it. Yes, we will make an attempt at peace. Even so, you are a friend, and we do trust you. Of course, of course. Why else would you say so? <laughs> Narrative. Hey, now what? Your enemies improve their strategies. Yep, and the Thrixel Draxthix Hound has extra armor because that's just what I needed. But... Prepare for Exus. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm as prepared as I'm going to get. Is manga months so much to read? Oh, I see, I see. Hmm, now the question here is, it is exactly midnight my time. Do I keep this stream running while I do this exodus thing, which, you know, could take quite some time given how long I take to strategize, or do I leave this for next month? That is the question. I have no preparations that need to be made, except for maybe letting Rumbert heal up. Um, so just letting some time pass. And then into the tower, like, uh, get situated to prepare for Ekthys. I just... Hmm... Choices are very difficult, but I think I should definitely let some time run and let Rumbert heal. There we go. Okay, we are the Kestrels of Winter, and it is now winter of year 56. Which doesn't mean a lot. Hmm. To wait until the end of September, or to do it now? 
<laughs> hmm. You know, I think I am cruel and evil. I, I think I am a terrible person who is actually going to wait until the end of September to finish off this everything here. I'm going to leave it on a cliffhanger because I'm awful. There's honestly nothing else to do, though, unless I want to spend my remaining legacy points uh, giving uh, Fox Eve a tier 3 weapon. Um, I can probably afford to do that. Let's, let's find out. Over here in Chuck Queen, if I craft... Fox, a level 3 spear. That would cost me 7 LP, leaving me 5. Oh, I don't like that at all. I'm a, I used up too much heartwood, apparently, uh, making the other two things. Hmm. If it was just the spell threads, I'd probably do it. But I don't know how I would get 4 heartwoods in a reasonable amount of time. I don't think there's any... Like, there's this, there's the Estrapen stand? Yeah, I could spend one legacy point to get a heartwood to uh, make a lumber yard. It would give me two heartwood right away, but that would still be two that I'd need. No, this this is this is not a good this is not a good idea. It's not a good prospect. Fox Eve is going to have to be the only one who goes into this with uh with a level two weapon. So this is actually where I'm going to leave it tonight. We are going to save. And at the end, on the last Monday of September, which is, turn the calendar, the 30th, the last day of September. The last Monday is the last day of September. On the last day of September, Ecthus is going to meet whatever her fate is going to be. And we'll see what that fate is in September. And you know, if you really loved the Wildermyth and you want to get more of it before September, well, I have good news for you. You can find it on my YouTube channel, where all of my previous streams of Wildermyth and anything else that I have streamed is archived. There is a playlist there for Wildermyth itself, so you don't have to go digging through everything to find a once a month stream. And it's all nice and neat up in there. And of course, there's all the other games as well, you know, in case you're also interested in the other stuff that I stream. <laughs> and I will be back streaming again on Wednesday night at as close to 7 p.m. as we can get enough people together to form a room. I'll be playing either Among Us or Scribble It or 100% Orange Juice for my friends. Or not my, for my friends, with my friends. <laughs> yes, you see. Yes, I'm leaving it on a cliffhanger. Make sure people come back in September. Yeah. But yes, uh, where was I? Yes, Among Us is the game that we play when we have the largest number of people participating. It uh, needs no explanation or description beyond that point. Uh, Scribble It is the game that we play when we have too many people for orange juice, but we don't quite have enough for a good game of Among Us. It is a Pictionary-style game where one person draws and everyone else tries to guess what that person is drawing. And, you know... At the end, whoever has the most points at the end of three rounds takes the game. And then, 100% Orange Juice is Anime Mario Party Madness, where the dice hate everybody, the card changed the rules, and every little character has their own special power that also changes the rules, but usually just for them, but sometimes also for their team. It really depends. So it is glorious, chaotic madness. <laughs> we have a lot of fun with it. And, uh, but it is only four players or less, so it tends to be right up at the beginning of the stream. So if you're interested in 100% orange juice, you should definitely try to tune in early. 
But if you can only come in late, I have good news for you, because around 10.15 or 10.20 or so, when my friends must abandon me because they have day jobs that require them to be up in the morning, which means they actually have to sleep at night, I switch over to my solo Valheim server where I crash around and do my best. Upcoming in my next Valheim stream, it's going to be a whole bunch of sailing through unknown territory I have not sailed through before. Because uh, last stream I found the location of Motor's altar, and now I have to sail to the island that it's on and figure out what the situation is there and get myself set up for a good old Motor fight, which is going to be quite something. I'm going to have to make so many arrows. Oh boy. So many arrows. Sleep is... Well, sleep is for the week and for people who have to work in the morning. Uh, that's that's the that's the the way it goes. <laughs> and then I will be back streaming again on Thursday night, starting at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. I will be playing Darkest Dungeon for Try Not to Die Thursday. I am actually thinking that it's about time for me to be changing the Try Not to Die Thursday game. So this is actually going to be the last stream of Darkest Dungeon for a while. So uh, if you do want to see Darkest Dungeon and me working on my roster and hunting down the thing from the stars and probably going after some bosses, you should definitely tune in on Thursday because it's going to be the last time for some time. <laughs> and then on Sunday night, starting at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, I'll be playing Baldur's Gate 3, where I am currently dealing with a hag in a swamp. A green hag in a very nasty swamp that she thought she'd disguised into being a very nice swamp. But I saw through the illusion because I'm spectacular. Maybe. Uh, possibly? I don't know. But in any case, we have a green hag who is holding a bunch of people uh, captive in her basement. And I'm going to be attempting to either free or unenchant the captives, whichever occurs to me. Uh, without actually getting into a fight with the hag. I would really like to not fight the hag if I can at all help it. So uh, we'll see if I can manage to do that. <laughs> and then next Monday night, starting at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, I will be playing Two Point Campus for Management Monday. Uh, there's been a bit of a curse on Two Point Campus lately, so it has been quite some time since I streamed it, but <laughs> free free. I, I'm... Hmm. Are you threatening me with that panda with a gun, Brother John? <laughs> but yes, in Two Point Campus, I am going to be continuing to work on the school that I had started, the Combined Spy and Cooking School, and trying to balance them against each other and uh, succeed both ways. Free them. Yes, I have every intention of freeing them. I, I want to free her captives, but without actually fighting the hag herself. I do not want to fight the hag. Uh, that is the last thing I want to do, so I want to free them without fighting. So it's going to be a lot of sneaking on Sunday. I'm going to be sneaking like I've never snuck before. <laughs> That's the, that is the current plan. And if that doesn't work, I'm going to be throwing fire barrels. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> so that is the upcoming schedule for my week. Uh, all the games I'm going to be playing and what I plan to do in those games. As my, Whether or not I think those plans are going to be successful, who knows? Uh, I, I've made plans and hopefully I will succeed. But whether I succeed or not, or whether or not those plans actually work in practice the way that they do in my head, I still have an incredible amount of fun. And I have had so much fun tonight. And I hope that all of you have had at least as much fun as I have. And I hope that you all have a great night. Good night! <laughs>